Action Park Media. All right, welcome to Victory the Podcast. I am Kevin Connolly. I'm Kevin Dillon. And I'm I'm getting there. I'm Doug Allen. I have to hold a button down every time I talk. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be he, he's in a different room because I came in with a cold. Dylan got Dylan's a little, got a bug in his throat. I, I got a little cough and yeah. Right. So Doug's not feeling it, great. A little sore throat, but uh, I cannot yeah, get Doug this is, baby sick. I totally understand it, but I, you guys don't have to treat me like a leper. Well, I've never listen, felt so I, bad. I, I, yeah. I was like, all right. I mean, like, it's not like you and I hugged and were wrestling. We, we said, well, What's you up? tried to hug me. I said, get off me, dude. <laughs> I don't know why you're hugging me. Conley always touches Dylan. Oh, I mean, was, he's only was, human. I mean, who could blame I, him? I never realized how much I touched Dylan until I, I wasn't mean, really supposed so to touch him. It's unbelievable. Everyone tries to do it. I even sometimes touch myself. I, I, I posted that DK <laughs> Metcalf picture from when he was on the podcast, and uh, – Conley was gripping Dylan in a such a strange way, and lots of people noticed. What on the uh, on the DK Metcalf episode? Yeah, we took a picture. The four of us, and for some reason, you hugged him like he was your long lost. He's trying child. to give me a reach around. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> stop it with it! Now he thinks he's Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I, like, are we allowed to talk about that? We, can, I'm t- like, we can talk about. It. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't want to talk too much. Yeah, I'm I, like, I, I great. God, great mother, Jesus Christ. And he's like, what? Yeah, you talking to me? Yeah. So for played, anyone who doesn't know, Connolly just came back from Amsterdam where he played Jesus Christ. Yeah. In a movie. Are you allowed to say Jesus Christ? I mean, yeah, you, yeah, can, you say can say Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ. You, you say it a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was it was it was a fun experience. I went to Amsterdam. Yeah. I was in Amsterdam. I was there. I was in and out. But get stoned. Amsterdam is wild. You know what? I, it's funny. It, one thing about it, it lost its luster. You know, I was coming back through customs. The guy's like, "Did you bring any marijuana?" I'm like, "No, bro. I can get Dude, marijuana down the block. <laughs> Why would I bring it in from Amsterdam?" It's in abundance. And by the way, <laughs> when I walked into uh, this podcast room, I was like, "Jesus, who's smoking the weed in here?" I, I, I took a, I took another the guy is yeah, becoming a junkie. Did. That's not true. You know I what, Kev? A, let me tell you something. It's a gateway drug. <laughs> you know, one second you smoke it a joint, next you're going to be given. Hand jobs, candies out on Santa Monica Boulevard <laughs> for a crack rock. Is that the way you want to end up? I don't Listen, think so. I'm stressed out about the live show. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not going to lie. lie. I, just I like way you stoned. It. I like Kevin Connolly stoned. I, you're my brother for life. Even if you're angry, when you're stoned, though, you are, you're like almost, I wouldn't say sweet, almost sweet. <laughs> 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 Let's not get crazy. No, um, yeah, man, it's uh, it's 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 stressful. The live shows just there's a lot goes into it, you know. Tell me what particularly that you're stressed about. Well, we, we haven't wanna... even discussed the actual performance so far. We've done with merch. I'm just gonna it. be myself. Yeah, I mean, listen, here's here's the deal. Like the merch is one of those things where you don't want to. You want to have just the right amount of merch, right? You don't want to have, you don't want to undersell your merch, but it also sucks if you're like, shit, we should have had more merch, right? Well, yeah, so it's you trying put to find some the off in a closet somewhere, and you pull it out as it goes. So it looks, Ew. You pull it out of the closet? <laughs> you, you whip it out in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know you're an sick, update. Dude. <laughs> Aside from merch and travel, which we finally figured out today, I would like to know a Jerry Ferrara update. There's been, let me just say to the audience, there's been some rumblings that Jerry Ferrara may show at the live show, but for whatever reason, Connolly is the only uh, conduit to Jerry Ferrara. Well, I'm so, the only one that talks. Well, I could give him a call. You should, by the way. Right, but you're not, you know, let's face it, you're not the organi- organizing type, you know? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I barely organized my own life. Right. Oh, Jesus, Kev, that was sad. You okay? Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I, just, yeah, I know uh, you're having some problems yeah, with I like some to, uh, tenants in the building. I mean, that's, oh, are we allowed to God. talk about that? Uh... No, nah, nah, let's wait mind. until Dylan's I mean, got, well, I mean, I'm listen, still going through the eviction. Dylan's got, <laughs> Dylan's got land uh, tenant problems, you know, so yeah. we'll talk about that. Yeah, we will we'll talk, talk about that after the when, uh, Oh, when it's ready to go. Date. Yeah. I, I want to talk Ooh, about legal proceedings. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll it's move crazy. on from it's, Jerry, it's but crazy. What, what's your feeling, Kevin? Is it 50-50? Like, cause I know I would like him there. Here's the thing. Of course, I, we would, we'd all would like him there. I didn't mean like the three of us. I mean, whatever. People would all like him there. Right, you're saying as a fan of mine and Dylan's, you would also like to see Jerry? <laughs> Are you putting yourself in the group with the fans? Well, now that I'm in the booth, I feel more like I'm not really part of this. And the <laughs> truth is, nobody cares to see me. I think they'd love to see Jerry. I agree. And and Jerry's just fun. And, and the other thing, Jerry's good at it, too. So, you know. He's, he's great. He's yeah. great at it. So um, Harass him on It'll his It'll take inter- some pressure <laughs> off you, Kev. Right. I'm serious. <laughs> all but, of us. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Jerry, I think Jerry being there would be a great thing. Yeah. He, you know, Jerry has to go early in the week, so I think he's kind of hung up. Is he doing something for the Super Bowl? He's doing something with his I the think, halftime I guess show. His, no, I guess I guess with his with his podcast or or, uh. or whatnot. But he's like there early, 
And I think it's a question of he's hung up for a couple days. I think we all got to do our Super Bowl picks, right, right? Uh, up there. and uh, Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. That'll it's going to be fun. So uh, we, I got, uh, do we have any outlet to tickets? I'm just just wondering. We it always be have outlets to tickets. I have no interest in going to the game. I am flying out Sunday morning. I think that's I've done I've done ten Super Bowls where I go for the weekend and I'm out in my on my couch by the time the game starts. I have no interest in being at that game. You know, if the Giants were yeah, playing, I've done it too. If the Giants are there. Yeah. If the Giants are there, yeah. this would be a whole different discussion. You know, yeah. and I don't remember if you remember, but Connolly and I, when we went to the last Giants Super Bowl, which was awesome in Phoenix, it took us. We sat on the runway for over two hours trying yeah. to get out of there. It's just. I mean, it's no, no, and that Monday's one was impossible. not in Phoenix. That was in uh, Indianapolis. No, right? Phoenix. Phoenix. Well, I went to that one. Right. Yeah, you were there. They weren't in the there. Super Bowl after that. Am I crazy? No, like two thousand. No, it was the Tyree catch. Yeah, it was the Tyree. Yeah, catch. that was the first Super Bowl. Yeah. Not the second one, though. The second one. You guys have so many Super Bowls. You guys have so Against many Super Bowls. Smoke another joy, Collie. Go ahead. Just smoke it up. You guys up. have so many Super Bowls. I'm getting Bulls, contact yeah. high, and I'm sick to begin well, with. You might be right. Did the Giants win after the 2007 against Baltimore? Of course Baltimore? they did. Yeah, they won, too. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, you know what? 2007, which was funny, because uh, you know now Chase Crawford, who, who we almost got to be in the Entourage movie, who's awesome, but we didn't really know who he was there. But Connolly and I were sitting in the Super Bowl, and uh, – he kept going to the bathroom, and I thought it was Zach Efron, and I wanted to get a picture for my daughter of Zach Efron, and Con- I said, Connolly, don't say it, because, you know, Connolly, when he's not stoned and he has a couple of beers, he's gonna, <laughs> he might start a fight. So I'm like, don't say anything, Zach Efron. I need a picture. And then someone said, no, that's not Zach Efron. That's Chase Crawford. And then Connolly goes, hey, <laughs> go that way. I, I just said, take another route. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if he if, look, if uh, the, he was getting up in front of you to no, go to no, the bathroom. No. I, by the way, I was joking, I, dude. I love Chase, but you know, if think Chase about is it, amazing, if, you, if you're way. in the middle, if you're in the middle of a long row, right, hey, man, you don't gotta you, go, you gotta you, go. No, bro. I know, but if don't you alternate trips? Like go lefty yeah, one time, I, go righty another I mean, time. To be honest with you, you, do the math in your head real quick. How many people are here and how many are there? Are right, you t- but it's a Super take, Bowl, so there's no seats. I, so, I say you take the shortest route every time. But I, he was dead in the middle. Is my point. If you're dead in the middle, you, you gotta would, go you left. You would mix right. it up a little. You should bit. mix yeah. it up. Yeah, you should mix yeah. it up. Love him though. Yeah, he's awesome. And by the way, you, very you guys, I know you guys haven't seen the show, but the boys is Ew. really Ew. good. You like that? <laughs> it's it's a great show, and he's great in it. So um, the boys. I got other things to talk about. about. Your boys. I didn't get. I received no phone calls from you guys this weekend. There about was what? a mass shooting less than 40 yards oh, from did my you hear house. About that? Four oh, people were murdered. Shit, no way. Three others in critical condition. I'm talking 40 yards from my house. And, uh, I can confirm this because I pulled it up on the uh, Citizen. I gotta app. check the news. You can once confirm in a while. it. No, it's a conspiracy that I'm making up. I mean, this is real. You could have been exaggerating it, but no, it was super close to the house. Did they get the guy? Killed. And I'm also not exaggerating that neither of you checked in on me. Oh my god, I just almost killed Dave's dog. I mean, I figured yeah. I would. Yeah. I mean, what kind of guy almost kills a dog? You're so you mean. You're you're mean. I, I've always thought you've had that She's in you. Just a dog, Doug. I am telling you, Theo just attacked my leg. <laughs> I mean, what, what just happened, Dave? He does I mean, that. that was, uh, he does that. He's protecting Dave. He, he loves really, Dave, that oh dog. Okay. He said, don't be mean like that guy, Dave. So uh, a guy <laughs> said on, on, what was it, an Apple uh, review that yeah. the guy said that? What? Said that Doug was mean to me and... And uh, what did he say? You? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing that's ever been said. That I diminish Kevin Conley, who I just spent a year working for free to try to make him a superstar again in a pilot. That I diminish his acting by talking how some of the stories on Entourage came from my own life. Right. Are like, you I a didn't fucking create, idiot, I didn't whoever you anything. are? You, you <laughs> fucking mutt. I mean, seriously, I. these are two of, like, the greatest actors I've ever worked with, and I try my best to work with them all the time, but the purpose of this podcast, I think part of it is to get deep diving into how this show came about, what happens. It doesn't diminish anything about their performances whatsoever. No, I don't, I don't no, feel no. like you diminish my performance. No, Sometimes you uh, mean to me, but other than that. You know, I think every writer puts their life experiences into a script. Oh, and every I actor puts their life experiences into the role in, in some ways. Oh, he was saying that you basically take credit for everything that I did acting wise. Well, I show. think it's me. I think you're feeding off of me, and I you, that's what makes you look better. It does. I'm gonna take by the way, credit. it actually does. And by the way, I've said this a thousand times. I take no credit for any of these guys' <laughs> acting performances. Of course, I take credit along with the other crew of us of casting them. But once we cast them. You know, obviously, I'm talking about our entire cast, but our five core guys, there's not a single person on the planet Earth that I would replace any of them with. And they all 
They all crushed it, but this guy. Hey, Doug, we couldn't have done it without you, bro. Obviously, well, no, no, you know no, no. what I mean. So it's like, not... but any, yeah, no, I don't, no, I don't ever it. feel like you certainly take too much credit for my I'm stuff. Not you're the ace for bro. anything from anybody. But all I'm saying is to this guy who, who, who then is like uh, contacting Connolly to say that I blocked him. He yeah, still I loves. He him. said, uh, "Doug blocked me, but I still love you and Dylan." <laughs> <laughs> he my said, "I wish you and Dylan the best." <laughs> <laughs> you know, take him back, dog. Let him back in. No, I'll never let him back in. I wish I could block him from listening <laughs> to the podcast. That's the tragedy, that I don't have that type of control. But look, the reason I want Jerry Ferrari there, and ultimately I'd be happy to, to, to chime right out of this thing. I think the audience would love to see the three of you guys. I'm well aware that I'm, you know, I just try to keep things moving, and I'm not the, the, the focus of it, but I try to... No, you, know, you are. Give, You're the focus you of are. it. You are. I, I just try we to like give the behind not. the scenes of how everything happened, but... You're the Howard Stern. I'm the Baba Bully. You're, the, you're Robin. <laughs> I thought he was, uh, I thought was high-pitched Eric. <laughs> no, I, uh, I like Robin. I could be Robin. Oh, wait, there's a little guy, too. Is that high-pitched Eric? Who's the little guy? I don't know. I think he, Eric Dimitri. Eric, Eric the... Well, I, we can't say that, but I think he passed away sadly. I was gonna say, Dave, know your, know your fucking. Don't be mean to Dave. <laughs> yeah, stop do not being mean pick to on Dave. Dave. Dave was making uh, saying words in there that he shouldn't have said. All right, so Dave next said thing, the M word. Came in today to the office, and forever anyone who knows this reference, it was like Glenn Gary Glenn Ross after the robbery. What, what is happening here? Things are people are moving shit everywhere. Yeah, um, I thought you were. I thought you were leaving or something. No, Pack it no, up. No, no, no. Somebody's renting out a couple. They're renting out a couple of the office spaces. I mean, we have a giant. I want to office. rent a room. You want? Ew. <laughs> I would love. I mean, this would be a great place to. No, I mean, that's that, to come into Hollywood and be able to crash in one of these rooms. Or yeah, or work. You know what I mean? I'll Craig? be still partying when you guys come in. I'll have like a. <laughs> Why don't you rent them a room? What would you charge if? By the way, I always said. What would you charge? First of all, thank goodness. First of all, I should get a room for free. <laughs> My God. Thank goodness there is no shower at Action Park, or that would be a problem. <laughs> I'm serious. No, I don't need no stinking shower. <laughs> Scotty would, put would live in here. A shower today. The guy's coughing up a fucking. Uh, I'm scared. Hey, come scared. on. Hey, I'm not a leper. Come on. Come on, uh, don't make him feel you're, bad. You're great. You're great. So, but there was a lot of movement going on. And what I understood is, I guess this is where I was leading for. Apparently, this is Loon, which is an, an edible company. Is that what they are? They're, yeah, they're, they're a high end uh, cannabis company. So, when you made the deal with them, did you require them to provide me with edibles? Or no, not? they like you, Doug. Great. They like well, you. Loon, I well, like you. You know like what's me? funny? You know what? Why they, don't they like me? And they just don't know what your what your poison is. <laughs> they came in today. Lena came in and I said, like Doug, nice, likes, Doug likes edibles. I like right? a I'm mellow. Like, yes, he does. She's like, yeah. I like a mellow, sleepy one. Right. We ha- I think I'm sure. Well, they have you that. know, that'll help me sleep at night. They would be happy. I got to too many skeletons and demons. It's hard to sleep. <laughs> What's going on, Dylan? How is the day trading going? Are you making? A you know living? what? I let me. I didn't. I was driving in today. I had a good day today. Yes, you must be was so tough. rich. You haven't even checked that. You didn't even check. No, no. I, I was. I was up like. Uh, yeah. I, He's I was up, up a couple points. I was bro. up big, dude. Up a couple points. Yeah. Up a um, couple grand. Yeah. And uh, I'm finally in the green because it's been it's been tough, but it's, it's turned around. Earnings are going on right now, so I got to really uh, stay Connelly focused. Do you think Connolly and I should put our money with you? I love that Dylan's waiting I, on earnings. I reports. think if you did, you guys would be. Uh, We'd be it. up. You'd right be liking now. it right now. Right You'd now. be liking it. I like. It. I would like to like it because I need I, money. I'm not. I'm really lie. excited about the earnings reports for tomorrow, <laughs> and I think it's going to be. Uh, it's, it's oh, so the earnings news. reports come out, and that'll that'll either yeah, shoot well, the stock you know, up or down. They have different stocks report on different days, but right. tomorrow's a big one. So, Dylan, you got Apple and many. Dylan, many smart traders do not hold stocks into earnings reports. So you're holding onto the into the earnings reports. Uh, yes, but they're not always. Sometimes I Depends. will trade right before the earnings report. I'll yeah. just like keep one stock there. So, like for instance, when, uh, why did you hold share? on to whatever you held on to? Now? Because I believe they're undervalued and they're going to just go up anyway. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. All wow. right. I like it. I like I, it. I like Dylan. I like yeah. it. Speaking of, uh, you know. Really cool shit. Our, I know I've been saying it, and you're going to hear it soon, so it's not even going to matter. Our Spanish voices are here. Oh. Hola, como esta, ma bien? <laughs> Donde <laughs> esta, Manuel? Dos cerveza, por favor. By the way. Now, I, I want a couple uh, of beers. <laughs> guy's great. I mean, that's what it's going to sound like. I wish I could remember what I said on Entourage when I played the- uh, In Medellin. It's great. Me, yeah, the Colombian well, just, guys. Let me, Yo, let me explain. Ver- well, Ver- Ver- <laughs> you know, uh, Veritone cloned our, cloned our voices, right? And the, so they run it through a machine. The machine learns the voice, and they pick up on things called utterances. 
and it might be an inflection on your voice or whatever it is. I still got to give you more material. No, you don't. Right? We got it. Really? We found it. Yeah. I'll we come in it. the room and do no, it. No, we though. found it. We found it. If I'm not liking the inflections, I don't <laughs> want to do it again. So uh, <laughs> they had they found um, uh, the the standard is 400. And they they had 800 utterances from us. So really? all of our ums and ahs. Right, so let me just really? give a little. I'm guessing you're really, really great mother. <laughs> Can of I get God, a little, that little summation of what's happening here? Yes. yes. Allegedly, this company Veritone can take any voice, and they can take it where it sound where it is our voice essentially Speaking a clone Spanish. that sounds exactly like us with our inflections, Correct. but put it into any language and use the dialect of whatever that is. If Correct. we're talking about certain parts of Spain, mm -hmm. it could be a different accent. If this works, this it's is going to work. I, I understand what you said. But I said this to Connolly today because Connolly would like to show this off at the live show in Phoenix Saturday, February 11th. That's where I want you guys to hear it for the first stand -up time. Live. But if anyone is old enough to remember, Geraldo Rivera had a special where he was going to reveal the contents. Well, he found Al Capone's vault, right? Al Capone's <laughs> that, vault. Dylan? Yeah. They, they, <laughs> there was nothing in it, right? They marketed this for months, and then it was a big live event, and they opened it. It was nothing. So I have asked Connolly to hear this before we get to Phoenix, and he will not let me listen to it because I, I will be blown away. We talked about chat GPT, I think, a little bit last right. week, and it, yeah. it's blown me yeah, away. I'm, so I'm actually – I've been using that too to try and trade with it. <laughs> but I can't, it won't let me. They, they're trying. They try to stop you from doing that. I mean, fair enough, right? But it yeah, answered a couple of important questions I had about space. It's incredible and stuff like that. It's really, yeah. uh, it's very conservative, though. Your answers, I, I feel like I found some pretty amazing things. But I, I did write to it. How can I get along better with Kevin Connolly? And it <laughs> gave me a whole list. Impossible. Of get him high. Get him as high <laughs> as you can. Get him. I love it. Dylan is actually, his mind. Dylan is actually the way, firing away. Veritone is. Gone up today. They had a good day. <laughs> they had a great week, actually. By the way, wait till we wait till we drop it's our. It's a very inexpensive stock. Here was my question to you, Colin. It does have a D a Schwab rating. Why us? Why are they so excited about us? I know. Who that's one of the things. Well, they heard my voice. And, uh, <laughs> Doug, you know. Doug that's, that's Doug's biggest hang up. And I, I'll, I'll be honest, bro. I, I, I hear you. I, I hear would think they'd get Joe Rogan. Like, Joe, they, we're going to turn said, you into Doug, Portuguese. Doug is because, saying, like, if yeah, it was so great, why us? Well, because Joe would get paid for that, right? I mean, he could. He could sell it everywhere around the world. The, the Yo, thing that I see. How about see, this? Starting February, when we get back the week after the Super Bowl, the week after the live show, we're going to drop our podcast, regularly scheduled podcast on Wednesday, and then on Friday or Saturday, the Spanish version will be released. I mean, you are <laughs> giving, uh, you are creating a giant, wave of enthusiasm for something that you have not heard i are you not I'm, scared i am a believer and i'm not scared and i think yeah, we're it's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be a I great reaction no matter what i think we're gonna be all able here to, for the first time it's gonna be cool we're all and we're gonna be able to sell uh hopefully ads in foreign markets bro you know and, and what this can do so because maybe i'll rise the stock before dylan buys it for anyone who's listening if this really works just for instance but it will work okay i understand they could take friends. If, if you ever see friends in another language, in another country or even an entourage, and you see people talking, they get actors to dub in their voices, and it's always terrible and it always ruins the performances. So this allegedly, you would be able to take every episode of Friends and have David Schwimmer's voice turned into every single yeah. language on Earth and play this around the world Which in those languages with they would have to yeah. get they would have to get licensing deals from of course, all of the friends of and then go to Warner Brothers yeah. and it's a bigger deal than nailing down you and Dylan and I. I, I mean <laughs> it's kind of fun watching someone else do your movies when you're overseas and you see some guy doing your voice in Spanish. Hola, hey, come on. Sometimes very, the very Spanish fun. guy delivers a better performance than Dylan. It's that's, actually that's more enjoyable. It's actually you, more enjoyable. You, you cut me deep, bro. But we yeah. can also and but we can also go English to English. So I could meaning Dylan doesn't have to show up at all for this podcast. I mean, it would be it, it would no, that would be weird because it would feel you know. I mean, no, I could script the whole thing. It's actually amazing. We should do I, a little. I've testing. all of a sudden got kind of nervous about this about having. Uh, I mean, they can't use my voice though, right? You have to sign off on. Okay, what you did? Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I, I totally owns your voice. No, 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 but no, no. I did for this show. 
Yeah, no, I Kev. So I don't no, know what I signed. Kev, to be honest with Kev, you, you, it's a little scary. Kev, you own the rights. You, Kevin Dillon, own okay. the rights to your own voice. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, I thought I had a piece of this show as well. I of mean, course. Of course, of I course. haven't seen anything. <laughs> Connolly owns your voice, Dylan. You could have pornography released like any day now. That's produced by Connolly. Do, do you think it'll pay? <laughs> you think I can make it, make some money with it? Um, Dylan, let me ask you a question. I mean, I, Dylan's not really a tech guy. I think. Well, the, what are you I, talking about? What do you think? I think the super tech, tech guys. Uh, yeah, what, do you, what do you think um, uh, about this technology? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to sound like you and I having a uh, conversation? Oh, the voice technology. Yeah, yeah I do. I, I think it's going to be good. And I think they're already using, a, using it a lot. Some guys with great voices. I, you hear it all the time. Right. On, uh, what is it called? Uh, TikTok? Like, yeah, tic- all those things. Right. <laughs> Not a tech guy. <laughs> what do you call that no. thing? So, but though, you're uh, a tech guy, well, so you're well, cynical. Like on YouTube a lot. Right. You'll, you'll right. hear some of those great uh, all right, voice so guys, voiceover guys are, are doing everything. And I'm like, no way is this guy doing all of this. They must be using his so voice. So, Dylan, you believe that soon, soon, maybe even Friday, <laughs> you believe that you could say a we could do this whole podcast that within a week it could be in every single language with our voices that works where people in those countries think our accents are good and that it's us speaking to be and that we're to, to be clear. I, I think you know what I think we could do our English no problem I don't know how the translation's going to go into Spanish and Italian and French I I don't know so uh, just FYI we're right now we're we're just learned for Spanish. Like, you know, the, the next one is a request. Like, if we decide, like, hey. I would like to do Yiddish. Is that possible? Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, because it, it is a thing, so you have to. Just, <laughs> you have to pick and choose your, your battles some there. of the words you used to But maybe sense. French? Maybe I, French? I, I don't know where I don't our know. audience Good is. Good yunctif. Yeah. <laughs> Yiddish. <laughs> you had me I don't speak think it. a big Yiddish hey, Doug, you had me say so much Yiddish stuff on the show. I loved it. I would like, because what they say they can do, and we have a nice Australian audience, and I love Australia, which, by the way, we need to respond, whether we're going to Australia or not. So we'll talk about that off air. I don't want to humiliate anybody. But what if we could do this podcast with with proper Aussie accents? That would be quite nice. Can can they add that? I don't know. (laughs) Of course they can. I don't know. I don't know. Right now... Kylie's overwhelmed So the first... I'm 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 overwhelmed. Smoke another joint. No shit. (laughs) Um... No, but I think I think we're gonna we're gonna turn that little because I, I we're gonna turn that little segment loose at the live show. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait to hear it. I'm not gonna play it, obviously. So if wait. I'm playing it, you can assume I, that it's good. I you, can wait. Can you wait, Doug? To to do it live. Like let's say you know I you know let's say you know I, I'm sitting on the the. AI I want to make mine better though. I want to sit down in a room and give you more. They stuff. already have it. I know, but I don't know if it's I don't know if they got what I'd like to give. I think I think uh, I think you're looking at it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, it's a computer that like needs X amount of things to learn your voice, and we gave them those things. Hmm. So when you did your <laughs> when you <laughs> when you, Dylan, did, like what you were, just did there, it has that when you go. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Very right. interesting. <laughs> interesting. I am really. Not By the way, they have the really. Like the, I would like to say this, and I'm not stressing anybody out because I know Dylan is a master of the moment. I'm a prep guy. I would like to be somewhat prepped for this live show, right. whether three people show up or 3,000. Right. So I would not like to hear for the first time this, this thing that you think is going to change uh, But the that's world. only four minutes. Ah, you can't that's worry. only four it's minutes. It's going to be great. And, and no also, too, I'll wing it. I'm like a DJ. So if I feel it, I'll... <laughs> I'm going to play the crowd, bro. Are we going to... Let me ask you guys a question, and this is no offense to anybody, and this is not pointing fingers at anybody. Are we going to do this show sober? Both shows. Yeah, I am. Yeah. No drinking, no stoning, nothing. Nope. Nope. Because nope. I think that's scary. I don't. Yeah. I, no, no. Weed in crowds is not good. Well, the one in Long Island, I was, I was. <laughs> right now, I'm. I have a cold. <laughs> I had the flu when I did that one. Yeah. So I just had. I drank to just have energy. Right. right. All right. So we're going. We're going dry. We're going and dry. I don't know what Connolly's excuse is. <laughs> <laughs> we're going dry. And we're then I got high on pizza. Then I, I ate too many. Remember they had that. They spiked the pizza. Yeah, the way, but that Dylan show, had, but the show was over after that. So and by the way, matter. Dylan, yeah. you you were a as I've said before, you were phenomenal, and b you're the crowd favorite. They love you no matter what you do. But Dylan, 
you know, he had a couple of cocktails. He was fine, but I, I had to walk off the stage and piss. I know that was I, I asked that him was a question, dicey. And when I turned around, he was gone. He went to the bathroom. Hey, man, I was. Of course, the audience it. loved it. Like, I was so hilarious. fucking. They thought it was part and, of the show. They thought it was part of the show. <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed. I mean, I went. In, I had a complete panic attack because I, I really didn't know what to do. And right. the amazing thing about the, the what did we do? I, I went know. to the bathroom. No, What'd but you when, do? When, when we <laughs> sat on the stage and stared at each other like idiots. Oh my god! I'm sure you <laughs> guys you know, got. Our reviews, um, we must have. We must have. Our reviews were amazing. We no, got, listen, it was great. You I don't know think, what. Well, you got to go in there and just be yourself. They they love us. Yeah, we're, but about we're here's, give them a lot of love too. Here's what I think we should do. The only thing we should we should schedule is we should each pick an episode that we want to talk about our highlights of. That's All right, it. why don't we why don't we just All discuss right. that right now? What episode? If we said, what episode would you like to discuss? You got one that comes to mind? I, yeah, I, right, right away. I'm like, going to do, do the difference between uh, a fun episode and a good episode. Like, Hawaii was the most fun. Uh, the mushroom was the best, but it was the hardest to shoot. Like, that's what I want to talk about. I want to tell a couple stories about, you know, All right. the difference in the workload. Okay, and, well, and it was such a great episode. multiple episodes. No, it's not. It's, it's, By the way, it I'm sounds doing, like I mean, you're taking two episodes. Show. <laughs> I guess well, I'm going to pick three episodes now. Now I got to pick three. <laughs> what do you think? I was going to go with one. I thought we were just going to... I would go with the Grand Canyon. Right. But, I had a great storyline. Thank you, Doug, for that. And uh, But by the right. way, that's Arizona. So it would be great to talk about your trip that's there right. and everything. That would be right. awesome. Yeah. yeah, and also... Which that is, was Nevada, it's, actually, bro. I, uh, the other <laughs> thing that was interesting... The Grand Canyon is in Arizona, but we were in Nevada. Wait, what do you mean? Well, well we've, we flew, we, I flew into Nevada when we took the helicopter, and I believe part of the Grand Canyon is in Nevada. The I part feel very that we stupid were, right now, but I, I didn't. If it was, the I The part not that, know that we were in, we were on the west side of the canyon on an Indian reservation, which now they have that glass walkway out there. Yeah. They hadn't even built it yet. I'd love to see it now, but we saw them building it. Wow. But I believe that's Nevada. Did you join but a these tour? Are the, these, are, these are these. Maybe we can get Dave to check into that. These are the stories. Right. He should have already had that information. Um, <laughs> these are the stories that I'll we should talk him. about. I also think it's interesting that you guys shot a version of you drinking and driving, and then they cut it. Right? Didn't you shoot? Uh, Weren't you driving the Cadillac yeah. drinking? I, I don't know. They cut they it. They cut it. I have they no cut it. Yeah, I'm like think. crying as I'm driving. <laughs> and I'm like, my career's <laughs> over. With a bottle of whiskey. Dude, the, the, uh, Doug, you were there that night, right? No. Because I know you missed the, the you didn't, you weren't able to go to the Grand Canyon part. No. But we, we had everyone on that car in the dark and they had cameras in my face and light. I couldn't even see the road. That car was a piece of crap at that stage. The body was great. But looked it had, good. It had no, it looked great. Had no brakes, couldn't steer. Had, it, it steered like a boat, man. There was right. so much play in the wheel. And I was like, I could kill someone. People are hanging off. There's like 15 you know, crew members hanging off this car right now. Jesus. I could go off the road and just kill everyone. I am sorry that you went through that, but I was busy in a Nevada casino that night, I believe. You, know, you are so unprofessional. <laughs> Dylan, you're like one of those actors, though, that if I'm going to take somebody behind the wheel... Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll go. I'm you a good mind. wheel man. You're a good wheel man. You know cars. Like still in those. You know safety situations. I'll take yeah. you behind the wheel. All right, but so it I was after. It. It, it was after that scene. I said, "Hey, Guys, we got to get this car in working shape. better. We need brakes. We got to get this, get the play out of the steering. <laughs> right. Can't I be driving this thing around. Yeah, the, uh, we got to fix the alignment in this steering. It's basically a, an alignment is, issue. I may talk about the Vegas Sundance. Uh, episodes. Well, that's two episodes. Well, oh. just no. I got to pick another. Episode. No, you don't have to. But I think <laughs> the traveling is is, you know, the whole experience of what we had. I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, that's but cool. Those anyone were... in the audience who's listening and hopefully buying tickets for Phoenix, but um, let us know what you want to hear us talk about as soon as possible because we have to uh, we have to get this rolling. We what have... I think we should do is we should say let the fans pick what episode we want to cover. Or pick uh, I, multiple episodes. I, we'll I cover, agree. I, I think we have to say, yeah, they could all, they could all kind of, I don't know. Just, right. Just we can, no, we, we could take that. Like, we should. We should take some, some of that into consideration when people are going to be there, what they want to hear about. What I'm saying is what I found over the course of the couple live shows that we've done 
it can be hard to deep dive an episode with regards to storylines. Yeah, I mean, so I, like, if some you're of them we do, haven't even seen in so long. Like, if the mean. Grand Canyon, like, if you're going to talk, if we're talking about the Grand Canyon, like, talking about what you're talking about, that's the kind of stuff you want to talk about in the yeah. episode, not necessarily yeah, I think people what hear the different storylines. Behind the scenes. They want to hear yeah. the friendships and all right. of that stuff that was going on while we were doing it. So but, like, I love that. I didn't, I didn't even know that story. Like, yeah, that's well, the I'm, kind of story you want to tell to uh, at the I'm live excited. Show. Saturday, February 11th, stand up live in Phoenix. Um, before we go, Kevin. Well, we got Collins. a few things. We got a few things. Okay, I was the the film festival seems like I haven't heard a word about it. Yeah, no. Well, you, I was in Amsterdam. By the way, I got you guys take you see you take me for I, granted. I go away for five days, and and it's like film festival is great, bro. We're banging February sixth is the last day, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna put them all together, and we're all gonna vote on them. I we're just narrow saw it down. Stock Tip sent me this video. One one of the films that. I, I've only been uh, privy to a couple of films so far because Connolly's holding it back. But it was so sick <laughs> that I couldn't believe it. And Stocktip just sent me it. The guy shot it in his living room, and the whole thing was done with special effects. I mean, Is our that cinematographer, true? who's an Emmy-winning c- nominated cinematographer, was like, oh, they did this like this, 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 this. And then I sent him this just now, and he was kind of blown away. I mean, how the hell did this guy do this in his apartment and, uh, and make it look like – a crowded bar with gunshots. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty blown away. Listen, the JSX Queens Boulevard Film Festival has been a blast. It's fun. Yeah. Here's what I want to ask you guys, and I want you to think about this, because it's something, one of the things we've done twice now with our film festivals, mistakes that we've made, is that we've been not, not loose, right? It's like, hey, be as creative as you can, right? So we said, you either do, you can do a scene, you can do a trailer, you know, whatever you want. Just your imagination of Queens Boulevard. The only thing you have to say is whatever. I am Queens Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give him that. Yeah. All right. So, but would you give more credit to a movie that felt like a trailer, like it was an actual trailer for a movie, or a trailer that was just sort of cooler looking and better? Do you understand uh, I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think, uh, I think it could be either. It could yeah, be like a no scene. But a you, understand scene my, a movie, you understand my question. Or a trailer for the movie. Yeah. I but mean, like, so so they shot a trailer for the movie, and it actually feels like... A trailer for a movie that exists does that yeah. give more does that score I think more that's points pretty cool yeah I right mean, I, I, uh, to me it's yeah. whatever hits me you know yeah, whatever, right. I, whatever it is i mean the, the technical aspects of that one that i saw were well pretty cool storytelling yeah. and it were awesome so that that to me is whatever look at that guy me. he's like the boy in the in the plastic bubble <laughs> and he's behind the glass he's I wearing sunglasses he doesn't wear a hat anymore because his hair he's got this quaff he does have <laughs> i a mean quaff. look at him it does have a quaff. That's a, that's a nice quaff, Doug. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Dr. Zirin can take care of you, Kev, like that. Can I run my fingers through your you hair? You will look like Connolly, like that. You will look like Jesus, <laughs> like that. Dr. Yeah. Zirin. By the way, we didn't really talk about this. I, why, I think I saw a picture of you as Jesus, and you look great. Yeah, I mean, you know. it was. You look like a, it, the it, Holy One. It's one of those... <laughs> It was one of those things that just it kind of it kind of came out of nowhere. God knows how many people passed. Jesus knows, right? <laughs> Jesus knows how many people passed. They but. picked the Antichrist <laughs> instead of Christ. They picked so, the wrong Christ. It was a uh, it was it was kind of a last minute thing, but I went in and I had a blast. And you know that's one of those things where you can't really go halfway with it, you know. But it's tricky because uh, you've trimmed your beard since, right? I did trim my beard since. Yeah. So that was all your beard. That was all. That was all natural, bro. Sure. Well, I want to say gorilla. something. This guy's a gorilla, isn't he? I want to say something without diminishing Connolly and that, that guy who thinks I pick on Connolly. But everyone's reaction to a man when we said Connolly was playing Jesus was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I said it last week. I, I started sadly after a couple of edibles. I went to sleep and Connolly entered my brain and. He kind of don't ever let him in there. He morphed with like Jared Leto, and I could see Jesus. the eyes. Oh, and I then can't. he sent. I me say a, Jesus a lot. I think he may right. get in trouble. He sent me a picture from Amsterdam, and all of the people, which I know I wasn't supposed to send it, and it'll never go anywhere. But all the people who were laughing at Connolly and making fun of him, oh, he's too little, he's too this, he's too that. I sent them the picture of Connolly, and everyone was like, Jesus, like it was. I, I look. Yeah. I look. They yeah. did a good. They did a good job. Fucking music back here. And, and by the way, you would be a regular size human being back then. Yeah. <laughs> you know there there was. By the way, they were very tall. Back there then. was a few moments. There was a few moments where I was saying, "Wow, okay, I'm a short Jesus." 
Yeah, well, I was you know what? Uh, they were they all shot short me. back then. They shot me in different. But is different it ways. like, uh, is it like, honey, I shrunk the kid? Everything else is just made smaller. Like the cross, is it smaller? For I might, I might have been on an apple box or two. A couple man makers involved, Kev. A couple man makers involved. I can't Kev. wait to see this though. You looked at. I, I'm serious. And again, now it's I have to coming. feel bad. This show is so super dark. Wait, comedy, let me just say, bro. this show, like Entourage, was about friends who bust on each other. So to that jerk off who says I make fun of Connolly. I fucking I'd kill for this guy. God I mean, be I wouldn't you, go to God jail for him, but I would kill for him if I could get away with it. A hundred percent. Come to the kingdom, Doug. Come to the kingdom <laughs> of heaven. Yes. You got a lot of anger. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we talk about? I, I by the way, I, I had this one line. I, I wish I could talk I, whatever. I, I, I'll I I screwed up a line what is it? that what was only line? well the, um I said blessed and it was blessed. Well, obviously, I blessed said, is the yeah. There was like a blessed in there, and I blessed. and I watch. I was like, can I see that back? We got it in the wide, but like I, you, you know, blew your close up. I was no, I, I missed that in the in the close up. Wow. So did you? Uh, you just forgot to say it, or no? Ordained? I said blessed. You're ordained. Yeah. I don't understand. I know it was a mistake. You got to fix it in it post. Was a mistake. Wow, you're not yeah. doing. You're not. You're not performing my wedding nuptials. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I will not be performing your wedding. That nuptials. was something I wanted to talk to you about last night too. Uh, last thing, and then we, we do have to go because yeah. why? Why are we going? It hasn't even. Dylan been... needs rest, and I need lunch. But and I got I got Ted oh, Fox you know, waiting. But I need is, to talk to Doug, you about this. Doug, you can head out. Dylan and I will still you know chop he, it up. He did a podcast before us. He doesn't want. He's done. No, I need to talk to you about this because Sarah decides last night, and I, I have a rule. I don't think you bring up stressful things after nine thirty at night unless it's a pending emergency. Good call. I like that. I'm in almost REM sleep, and I had an edible. Heavy, heavy edible. No, Sarah, you. <laughs> Sarah wants to talk about what happens to our baby if something happens to Sarah and I. Who's the guardian? Who takes over. I'll take care of that. <laughs> I got the baby. And I'm like, and I thought the the funny thing was, I was like, well, Conley and Dylan, they're 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 close friends of mine, but yeah, I, I, I've raised I two like, daughters. I know what I'm doing, bro. I, <laughs> I'd like to visit, you know. I'd like to visit, but you don't want an instantaneous full... other one because I want you to know Ted Foxman, who who Sarah brought up. She didn't bring up Conley and Dylan. She, she did. What about the Foxmans? And I was like, what are you fucking crazy? You don't you don't call up a guy and go hey if something happens to us you want to you want 18 years of my child i mean that's hey ted but listen. ted volunteered this morning on the ramble on podcast ted i want to put you on the spot but if something <laughs> happens to me <laughs> is there a is there a jewish version of a godfather kind of thing or? well that's i mean the godfather is essentially the guardian i guess if if you really go down that road and yeah i mean Conley, no, i don't know if you've thought about that i guess you're, you're lucky enough that you have uh Zulia's young parents but um I don't. I don't have anyone in the vicinity. So Foxman might be uh, might dark. Be I think dark. Luke. Luke is gonna have to look out for his uh, By little the way, sister. You're right. Actually, I didn't think about that. Luke. It's Imagine good. he's Luke, like Luke. I'll help you out, bro. Don't worry about my, it. It'll be. It'll be all right, bro. Yeah, Luke is it. like, hey, listen, the uh, the, the A pie frat party tonight <laughs> might not be that great because the kid's gonna be at it. But uh, are Lucas and his friends gonna come to the live show? I hope so. U of A A pie frat. And all the rest of the frats, we need you to show up and be loud and scream and, and love the show. So hopefully you right. guys are allowed to drink and we, we actually encourage it. <laughs> Not we want the drunk. audience to get nice and toasty. And I want Dave to be like selling the merch. You know what I mean? Like not just standing there physically. You went into a real it. transition. Stock tip Dave. Stock tip You're Dave. Well, I'm talking about the merch. live show. I want Dave to be selling. Put it, hold the shirt up to somebody. The guy's a master Tell him how that. to look great on you, right? He's a salesman. He's got to be selling. Gotta sell out of the merch. We're gonna sell out of merch. It's gonna be fun. Maybe you we're gonna have a good time at the live show. What do we, I hope we have some new stuff. I mean, I don't know what you have. Oh, we got some new stuff. Carly, what if stuff. you give him a little incentive commission wise if he goes above and beyond a certain level? Well, we should be able to just sell all the merch, you know? I mean, but yeah. I think it'll sell itself. It'll sell <laughs> I think the merch <laughs> sells itself. Um, no, it's gonna be great. By the way, we should also I just thought of this. Mike Young have, opening for us. Stock tip should have an iPad with God forbid we run out that he can just <laughs> hey, here it is. It'll be sent to your house. Give me your credit card, you'll have it in a week. By the way, that's good. Yeah. Good idea. We'll be able right? to do that. Good idea. And I never was in sales. How about that? There you go. Boom. All um, right, guys. Wait, hold on. All right. No, well, go ahead. Yeah, no, no. Right, well, we we know when we're not wanted. <laughs> we you know, can just go on. We know when we're really be, hungry. We know when we're being run out. No, we're going to get a couple minutes left. So, um, live show. We <laughs> talked about it. Uh, Queens Boulevard. Queens Boulevard. JSX Queens Boulevard Film Festival. We talked about that. What else we covered? We got merch. We're ready for the live show. 
Gary's desk, not Gary's desk. Why do you guys hate this episode so bad? And don't you just uh, want to get it? <laughs> don't you guys just want to get it over? Yeah, just we'll do it, it eventually. I mean, I don't hate it that bad. It just wasn't our best. Right. But that's where I mean, Gary think, Busey paints you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I, that's and, the only thing I can remember right now about the episode. And then you, and then they yeah. got. I have a new office or something, and the guys bring me the desk. The but big I, guns are here. I do think. I do think we should. Uh, who's here? We got people. Go. I do think we should. Um, oh, Philly, hey, my boy hey, Phil Fahey in the house. Now I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? Uh, why we didn't want to do the episode? Oh yeah, Gary's desk. Yeah, uh, he's, he's so he's, fucking he's, stoned. It's crazy. He gets uh, smoke he, it up. He's Connolly. Just Did you get high smoke. on the Jesus. You know what? Set? Huh? No. Phil, Phil's got some legal work. weed for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You guys are just deadbeats. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's stoned. It's amazing. He's so nice. If by the way, if he wasn't stoned right now, he'd be fucking trying to get through this window to beat me up right now. Like, yeah, don't fucking. <laughs> No, I, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we're all. I feel like we're ready for the live show, and you know that wasn't easy. Can you, I talk about one the, last thing that Dylan's going to get upset with me about? You may as well, but I don't care. I'm saying it, and I know I'm. Don't like, do it, bro. It's a mistake. Totally off topic, <laughs> but Tony Romo ruins the games for me. I don't care. What? I don't care if he predicts plays a minute early. He, he does not shut up. Anyway, that's what I have to say. I, I right. feel like uh, he's happy and fun. He's I, I think happy. He's great, I don't want man. happy. I want and he knows good the game. Information. I want. Uh, timely information. I he was going to come on this show too, and now, uh, now, how am I going to get him on? All right, I'm sorry. I like take it back. Tony Romo. Take it back. What you said. Take it back, Doug. Take it back. What you said. I'm sorry. I like. All right, told, we, we really want you on the show. Yeah, I mean, come on. That, that was out of left field. That comment was. Right, I I'm think sorry. he's great. I'm bitter and comment, jealous because I think I have a good announcer. I'll tell you what. I think. Most people like him. Though. I mean, he's, I, he's, I he's there's been a backlash. I Since thought it when? was just me, but I started looking on Twitter. There's a backlash. Oh, if it's on Twitter. No, and be. also, I don't know if you saw this, and I don't want to get into this bad conspiracy theory, but they do have a cut of it. He almost sounded like he said the N-word and right. stopped himself. I don't know if you saw that, but anyway. That, no, that, he would never say that. He, but he's not that guy. He almost, I mean, he. it sounds like, but he didn't say I, it. I mean, know? I don't think he was going to say it, but I don't know. But either way, that's not my problem. I just think, you know, I want to watch the game, and I want to, like, like Joe Buck, just Troy Aikman. They, they just they make it better. We like Romo. Is. What? I, well, Dylan and I like. I Romo. love Romo. Dylan and I love. I love Romo. You're not going to move us off of Romo, bro. I'm not trying to. Yeah, yeah. you are. I yeah. play. I, I hung out with him once. Very don't nice to, guy. Don't try to move off. Move us off Romo. I mean, we love Romo. No one's like Madden and uh, those guys. No, Summer, Summer all. They, they yeah, were the they best. Were yeah. But all, all right. right. Well, yeah. listen. It's that's it. it. Yes. We're gonna. We we have an idea of what we're gonna talk about. We'll it's we'll be back. We're gonna do Gary's desk. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, guys. This is it. Thank you for reminding me, Kevin. Can we just fucking do Gary's desk next week yes. and get it out of next the way? Episode. And we'll and we'll have to take response, Doug. You might be in the hot seat on that one. I, I don't think, even know who's credited I with think, the screenplay. I, I think but. that was on a problem on the page, that episode. Yeah, for I'm sure. Being totally honest. And that's why I say same thing to that reviewer. Like I, I take the blame for right. bad stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean it all I mean, went Dylan through. got topless and got painted by Gary Busey and we hate the episode. <laughs> did, did Gary How? Busey try to manhandle you at all? <laughs> no, he would chase Connolly around like oh, yeah. he used to Connolly chase would run away like he get would away try from to me. make Connolly piss himself. He, he would play me. he would play tickle and pee. I yeah. mean that was crazy. honestly one of the most uncomfortable things. The the greatest thing I would pay a lot of money to see Busey of chasing you around while you're dressed as Jesus and making you try to pitch right. yourself. I mean, I, I just I don't. He tickles you, P. Connolly. Generally speaking, I don't. This is not a world where I want anybody tickling me ever. I yeah. mean, it's just ridiculous. Especially Never mind Gary Busey. Especially a Dylan big was <laughs> giant dude. <laughs> should we try to get Busey for Gary's desk? Hell no. Hey, we should go. No way. He is not welcome. Dylan can stop in Malibu, <laughs> pick him up on the way he from Dallas. He is not welcome. He loves right. Dave. We we're gonna we are gonna do Gary's desk on the next episode. I promise. And I don't know. Maybe we'll we're, we're, we're gonna wait, talk wait. about. I got to ask you a question. Well, my buddy Phil is here. How did you like those chocolates? I didn't. I haven't done them. I haven't. Okay. I haven't done them yet. I'm By the way, why was I not giving and, whatever and, these chocolates are? And, uh, well, but I, we'll get to take care of you. But I, t- I, I don't we'll take that much. Make sure you keep away from kids, though. You know, I mean, chocolate and kids worries me. That's it. Chocolate and kids, what? It worries me when oh, they have uh, when they taste good. It's scary. Oh, no, no. I don't need kids that. Kids can get their right hands now. on them. That's why know? it's here. Yeah. All right. That's, I, that's the right move. You could have told me about it. You'd have to be like get in the closet secretively and talk to Connolly because I'm with both of you all the time. You haven't <laughs> been alone without me, so I don't know when this happened. What? What are you talking about? When did you guys talk about this? When did you give him this chocolate? Talk about it's it. A while ago, bro. Yeah. It wasn't that big of a you know. Oh, he said, Yo, you should try these. Well, we got. I got some for you. All right. To the yeah. car. To Phil the might car. have some for you right now. <laughs> all right. Last thing before we go, Saturday, February 11th, Stand Up Live Phoenix. I want you all, get on Jerry 
Ferrara's Instagram and oh, give him a little love God. that we want him. Don't yeah. harass him. Just right. say Don't we, harass you him. want him there. I mean, right. we, cause honestly, and the, other, the other thing too, look, man, if you're in Phoenix, you're going to come to the, come, hopefully you come to the show, right? Yeah. That's the other thing. Like, I'm sure there's people who love to come to the show. And by the way, if you have Super Bowl tickets for me, if you have anybody <laughs> I mean, I'd really appreciate ticket, that. Anybody with an extra ticket for Dylan, he's a fun yeah. time. What, what, he's a fun time. You guys aren't gone? No. <laughs> I'm going to be home on my couch. You guys are All so right. old. All Good right. Good Victory of the podcast. Later. Action Park Media. Media.